well, I guess first of all, oh, um, doing hellos yeah, first. yeah. So I'm uh, I'm James Sweatman. Uh, I'm lead game designer on Chronicle RuneScape Legends, yeah. and I'm Pete Brisbane. I'm senior game designer on Chronicle Legends. And what does RuneFest mean to us? RuneFest means to us is something really, it's really special strange. because well, there is that panic. I kind of <laughs> I was going to start positive, but okay. I, you know, I li I, li yeah, I like yeah, where this is we going. Start positive. We should totally start positive. Uh, yeah. It's really special to us because a couple of years ago we got to come out on stage and speak to everyone and announce the game um, and have them play it for the first time at RuneFest. So it, it's really deep rooted into like the history of Chronicle and and how it came about and how we develop the game has all been with the players and being able to take yeah. it here and talk to them uh, is, is fantastic. Yeah, I, t I totally echo that. I mean, seeing players effectively play Chronicle before it was even released, you know, yeah. was, was like so awesome and so awesome. And I think hopefully players felt quite privileged in that, um, mm. but it also gave us just so much awesome feedback and kind of insight into what we needed to do to the game as it went on. Um, and we've taken that on board and that's been, that's been really fun. It's been good. Um, trying to keep up with the demand of features, I guess, mm. from players. Uh, but they're very good at, you know, suggesting things. That's weird. They always want more. More things. Uh, all the time. Uh, <laughs> and I, th I think with, with any uh, CCG, uh, and Chronicle in particular, um, with such a, a different game mechanic to what, what else is out there, uh, there wasn't really the blueprint for balancing in quite the same way. So I think balancing has been one of our biggest challenges in how to handle playing a game, playing a CCG in such a different way uh, that is much more led by your own cards interacting with themselves and your character. Uh, we, we've, nev we've not really had the same points to lean on that some of the other card games have had with the, the, the more historic products. So mm. that's one of, the, I think, our biggest challenges and always will be our biggest challenge. And uh, But it's something we, we really enjoy to, to jump into yeah. and, and take I mean, on. That's a total testament to its uniqueness, right? I mean, because like we, we are quite a big, obviously, you know, game fans in the office as well and in the studio. But when we sat down and designed Chronicle, it was very much a new game to us. Yeah. And so, like, it was it's 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 been a it's been a, a kind of a, a you know a quest of exploration, trying to figure out what this game should be and like how it should work. And uh, it's been fun in that regard. But yeah, it's, it it like Jim says, it uh, brings its own challenges as well. Mm. So what was the genesis? Was this like a side project that you guys decided to take on? It, it totally was. Yeah. And it was that. It that was just a side project. That was yeah. the real that's the funny thing. You, you mentioned RPGs and MMORPGs and that's actually how it started. It, it wasn't ever intent we never intended to make a, a CCG. Um, when we set out about what would be Chronicle, the project that we had, the team that we had, it was Pete and a couple of other guys working on small prototypes that were how do we do an RPG different? Uh, and that was kind of the question that we posed ourselves and we did lots of uh, idle games. Uh, we tried out different mechanics about social and, but one of the things that we, we dropped onto was this idea of building your own quest. Uh, and instead of building a character, you build a quest. That's kind of central to every RPG is questing and it's been so important to RuneScape over the last 15 years. And hmm. that was something we wanted to capture is how do you do questing differently? Uh, and the guys came up with a, a really interesting way of doing that. Yeah, so I mean, we concepted the entire game just like on post-it notes initially, like down in the canteen. It was, it was that, I mean, I, I love it because it, it was that sort of, that sort of genuine sort of starting point of trying to figure out how this idea could work playing around with it very easily like my handwriting was just like terrible well, I couldn't no, read no, half one, of no one could understand anything uh, and we had like a, a pencil eraser it was like the legend kind of moving yeah. through just like all this kind of stuff and uh, it, it was it was great because we were approaching it not only as sort of game you know developers for Jagex but also just fans of games really and um, for us it was about trying to create something which we hadn't played before like we just didn't want to make something which was like the same thing again and again or you know um, we wanted to try and create something with a different spin on it, which kind of made you think in different ways, kind of took you by surprise in some instances. And uh, and so it was it was fun just to kind of really flesh that out slowly. And then as time went on, we just kind of upgraded it. So we, we, were, we went from post-it notes to, ooh, card. Ooh, amazing. <laughs> and, then, uh, and then we got to the point where we were like, hey, we should take this to like a digital prototype. And we start building it out that way. And that um, just kind of, and each time we, we hit these different milestones and we kind of thought, yeah, it's, you know, it's still interesting. There's still something here, 
we just felt more and more confident to take it further and further and further. And uh, it's, it's, I feel very proud of the fact that it's got to where it is today, which is fantastic. Yeah. Well, as you commented early on to go, I mean, alternatively from the system Sam uh, CCG to the white play style of this being completely different from any other. It, it, it was the, the kind of foundation of the, the game mechanic when it came out. It wasn't necessarily that we wanted to make a card game. It was that cards were the best way to represent that game mechanic of, of construction. Uh, and even in the digital format, it, it still fit best. Uh, and we, we couldn't really foresee a, a different way of representing that. And that's why making it a CCG made so much sense and evolving it in that way. So uh, And yeah, making a pri paper prototype in the mm. way that, the, that we did, uh, it just made so much sense. It has led to a few questions, hasn't it, though, of people asking, would we ever print it like a physical card game version of it? <laughs> And, and we, would, we would genuinely love to do so, <laughs> yeah. but um, I just wouldn't want to do the maths uh, no, that's uh, it, of that's everything. It. It's so There'd much be easier. so many counters everywhere. Yeah, exactly. Um, but it, it's like any any time you 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 play a, a digital uh, card game or board game, and you really want to have that physical version. And we we looked at a couple of different ones. Um, uh, one of our uh, artists and QA uh, chaps, he uh, he created a an, an AR version of it as well. So you could put the cards down and it would create the characters in 3D and through your camera. And that was fantastic seeing that. Mm. So we have lots of different ideas that we've been playing with and we, we get a bit scattergun with a lot of that and want to do everything. Um, but we'd love to see a physical version, but yeah. yeah. Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> not right now. For me, it would be going back to one of our prototypes that we did. Uh, so many prototypes. Uh, uh, yeah, we did lots so of prototypes. So many prototypes. Yeah. There was a lot of the game <laughs> modes we actually tried. We get lots of questions from players going, "Why didn't you try this? Why didn't you try this?" We, we actually did, but it was terrible, and we didn't want you to. <laughs> we didn't want you to see it. But the one I would love to see, um, if we had the time to do it, uh, is a cooperative mode. Oh, I was going to say the same uh, thing. Yeah, damn it, yes. Uh, I need to quickly yeah. think of something. Um, because, of the, because of the way that Chronicle plays out, um, you can have both players working together um, in a quite uh, a natural way uh, compared to some of the other CCGs. And that's something that really excites us and you know, is, will, would definitely be uh, something we'd invest in in the future. Um, it's not, unfortunately, it's not something we've started on, um, but we would love to do. And I think as a team, we'd love to, really love to see. Would you go more for like co -op versus AI or would you go, would you go rather than co -op versus co -op? I, I think you know, uh, designed on the fly. I think uh, if we were to do something, the, the idea would centre around possibly uh, some kind of boss creature or something at the end of your quest. Uh, and both the characters can uh, build each other up. So, you know, if you guys have played before, uh, you obviously attack each other along the line. But if we added cards to the game that were more buffs to each other, build each other up, help each other de defeat big creatures, and then having some big boss to fight against at the end would be really, really interesting way of using our mechanics and presentation to create something different to uh, what, what you might be already out there. Mm. So for me, I've stolen them. I've stolen you've stolen my, stolen my answer. Yeah. Uh, no, but I, it's OK. I, um, uh, one of the things, another prototype we did early on, actually, was an inventory system. Uh, so we have these legends that go through the game. And you can give them weapons and armor and such like that. Uh, but I, I suppose my personal love was always this idea that, um, like in any other adventure game, you know, there's loads of equipment in a world and there's loads of kit which you can use and stuff like that. And I think maybe giving our characters and our legends more stuff to play with would be quite interesting. You know, you could have you know pieces of armor, but specialist pieces of armor and, and all that kind of stuff. Uh, we did try it out. Um, a few months back and uh, it didn't really work how we wanted it to um, so we decided not to really pursue it but I still think in the back of my head you know I think I think it could work um, and uh, you know if you ask me for my personal sort of preference so that's I'd be really excited for that because I think that is kind of taking a bit of more the adventure game um, kind of uh, design and just kind of putting it into Chronicle and that's where Chronicle really kind of excels I think it's about trying to blur the lines between card games and adventure games a little bit and um, uh, something like that would be, be pretty cool if we could do it right. Yeah. Yeah. The 
the the most important thing I think we say now a lot and is something we try and communicate as best we can is you fight your own cards. Mm -hmm. Fundamentally, uh, that is the biggest difference. Uh, and as a statement, it's something that's interesting, different, uh, you haven't played before. Uh, so whenever we say, as, if, as simply put, is you fight your own cards. And uh, that's that's just a really exciting way, I think, of, of kind of saying how different it is and what you can expect from the game. Um, but obviously, there's so many layers on top of that as well, but I think that's the most succinct way I can say in one, one sentence how different it is and yeah, definitely. why it's different to Hearthstone, Magic, uh, even you know the new games coming out soon as well. Yep. So, well, I mean, so our roadmap is uh, certainly blocks of content, but there's uh, things, there's new cards in the in the future, but also new game modes. And that's one of them we're showing today here at RuneFest is campaign, uh, or the beginnings of uh, what will be campaign. Okay. Um, so it's um, a mode centered more around more around single player content. Um, so some people kind of get quite scared when they when they when they know or think they're playing against other players and they kind of want more of a bit more safe territory to learn how the game operates and how it works and uh, campaign is about offering that but also offering games that play quite differently and, and quite uniquely as well so there's a lot of cool stuff going on in that camp in that mode which we're really excited about and uh, that will be something which we you know very much intend to kind of get into the game sooner rather than later um, and uh, I don't want to talk a bit more about maybe the future plans past that point yeah so in terms of our avenue of distributing new cards and how we expand the game uh, we did a, uh, a little presentation at a RuneScape event during the summer called Summer Summit mm. uh, and there we talked a little bit about our first expansion and what players can expect from that and we've got card targets in our mind about how we how many we want to deliver and uh, we've already got a theme in place uh, I'd love to say what it is but I can't quite yet um, and we're still working on what we feel is going to be the best way to distribute those cards. Uh, is it through a traditional card game expansion uh, where we drop a collection of cards and they're for a new pack in the store that you can buy uh, and save up for? You can still craft them as, as you would normally. Or is it something that we, we uh, deliver through our campaign mode? Um, so you need to mm. purchase the new campaign either through soft card currency or, or through, through real dollars. Um, and and that's something we're still working with, and we, we you know we're going to talk to the players and see what they feel is the best way to deliver it. But we're looking at a couple of different avenues and to find out what's going to be best for Chronicle and the way that you play that game. So um, we haven't decided yet, but there is expansion coming, and we have a majority of it designed. Um, and some of the mechanics in it are absolutely mental, and uh, mm -hmm. we're looking forward to players getting hold of them and seeing what they do with it. Do you uh, any of the mechanics at all? Um, uh, I think I can talk about one of them. Yes. He's uh, <laughs> <laughs> worried. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, it, it, a couple of them are combining effects that we already have in mm. within the game. So, um, we have things that currently augment statistics. Um, so you can change a card's to stats and change the way it plays, and also do that to your to your opponent. But we may be looking at ways that you can't do that anymore. So there might be cards that have the ability to resist certain effects uh, and they would then obviously deliver many many more rewards than other cards have been done before so I'm not going to say the name of it mm. or what the theme is because it will give away some stuff but um, there's going to be some more kind of protection orientated me mechanics in there as well and uh, an augmentation of stats is kind of going to be a, a, a key theme within the game as well uh, with this edition so it's something we're really excited about and um, yeah, the, the cars that we've been uh, designing and looking at, hearing the guys in the corner giggling over different ideas that they can have and how some of them are truly cruel. Uh, uh, it's going to be really fun and seeing how the players players go with it. But that's, that's, I think that's all I can do. Mm. I try my best. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, I mean, I think uh, from the very early days, I think the first thing I can remember players really, really wanting was chat. Yeah. Yeah. And um, it, 
it's one of those it's one of those weird things in game development sometimes where you know when when the player base demands something or they're asking for something and say it'd be really cool to have this and you're like totally yeah but then obviously you've got your own sort of internal priorities about what you need to fix in the game and such like that and so it kind of sometimes they don't really kind of line up correctly um but it, we, i think we'll get to that point now where um things like chat for example are now starting to be looked at more actively uh, and it'd be fantastic to get that into the game and so it kind of broadens kind of the social channels of you know what you can do inside chronicle as well um but uh, I mean, the players have certainly been very, very active in giving us feedback. I mean, we've we, we we take great pride actually in like looking at all the different forums and the kind of the Twitter accounts we've got and kind of taking all that in. And you know, whenever we sit down and have meetings about what we want to do next, you know, it's always it's always kind of tempered by what is the general you know, feeling from the player base about what they would like to see as well. Campaign as well, single player. Content. Yeah, that's the other one. Yeah, there was a big push for single player content, and the interesting thing with chat is um, as well is that a lot of people was say, "Well, why didn't you just put it into the game?" And we want to make sure that the mm. chat that we add to the game uh, and that is coming uh, is something we've got in, coming in the next couple of weeks is um, conducive to the way you play Chronicle, uh, and I think that's what some of the other games have done previously whether it's CCG or otherwise is that they don't feel like they're integrated into your experience and with Chronicle you're kind of you're playing cards and you want to be talking about what you're doing at the same time so we want to make sure that chat is interwoven into the gameplay and that's something we're adding to the game so it's a little bit different to what you might have seen uh, in other games as well mm. we have to do everything different uh, which takes more time yeah. as well <laughs> more prototyping <laughs> lots of prototyping yeah Sure. So I think um, the campaign that we're showing at RuneFest today um, is, is very much like a almost like a proof of concept kind of feel for it. There's still some work to do on it. Um, our intention would be um, in the future it would definitely um, embody quite a specific you know theme and story. I think at the moment it's kind of it's more of a a showcase of of what we can do and it's an exploration of that. So uh, it has a lot. It does have a bit of a theme kind of running throughout it, um, but it's very much about exploring some of the unique things we can do inside the games to really make it feel quite different to the other game modes um, in Chronicle. Yeah, it's, yeah the, the, as, as Pete says, the, the first campaign is a tour of Gilinor, mm. so um, something that's a bit of a love letter to RuneScape, takes you through all of our fantastic environments the artists have been working on. We've some got new ones as well. Brand new Karamja environments. Yeah. So Karamja is a big region within RuneScape that's tropical, takes on some of the themes that we have here from the Ark. Um, and delivers them in, in Chronicle's unique style. So we've got big galleons coming through the levels that you might be able to do interesting things with, and also these huge volcanoes spewing out gas and smoke all over the levels, which is which looks fantastic. But the players can go through those and interact with brand new characters that they haven't seen before. So across the board has always been a legend, so Ariane, uh, Raptor, other, other guys, but now we've got drunken pirates swinging with spit hanging down, uh, uh, big characters from the Tazar that are standing there looking mean and all cute uh, yeah, more winner, guys, very twitchy uh, and yeah, very kind of freaky behind yeah, yeah. There. so it's all stuff that you wouldn't have ever seen before in, mm. in a ccg so it's a real kind of big tour across the game and we're really excited about some of the cool movie mechanics we have in there unique challenges that you can only really get in chronicle and that's all through this awesome little world map that we're building the very first version is here playable today at, at, at RuneFest, but um the thing that we're going to be delivering in a few weeks time is is going to be even better and bigger and bolder Fantastic. Cool. Thanks, guys. Thank you very much.